Okay, uh, we're going to now assemble the lower to the upper. So the first thing is take your upper and then putting the charging handle. The charging handle will go in. And there's a little, it'll click down and it'll go into a, two little ears will go into a slot. And you push that forward a little bit just so it holds. So the charging handle's in. Then you take your bolt. Your bolt should be assembled. It should be one piece. And there's this top, this gas port tube. You want to put that in the channel of your charging handle. And then slide the whole thing in and it'll pull in your charging handle as it goes. When you get to the end, give it an extra little push and it'll lock in. So now you have your upper assembled. Now you're going to assemble it to the bottom, what you've been building. So first step, take this, cock the hammer back, make sure you, that your pins are out, and then they simply fit together. By the way, this is how you field strip and clean as well. You can take out the bolt. Have the front pin aligned, and then work on pushing this in, wiggle it a little bit, get it aligned, and it'll slit and it'll go right in. Then pivot the back down, and it should lock right in, and then the pin goes in as simple as that. Now you have the upper to the lower assembled. You can charge, and if you're aiming at a wall or one of the safe areas that are designated, you could dry fire it. It won't hurt it and you can just check that everything works and do a function check on it. At this point, I want you to, the rest of the day and the rest of the build, put in the uh, empty chamber indicator. And how you do that, how you get the bolt to hold open, is you can pull the hammer back and either, and you press in on this, that's your, that's your bolt, that, that'll, that's your bolt hold open. Press that and as you let this go, then take your empty chamber indicator, which is a zip tie in our case. I'll make a loop on it like that. Put that in the barrel as such you can hold it and either pull it pull this and let it back there now we know that the, it's safe even though there's no ammo at this event we all know, know it's it's still safe and we could go on assembling the sights and the slings and everything else at the next step thanks